Welcome to another English language teacher quiz show brought to you by the American TESOL Institute. Greetings and welcome to the English language teacher quiz show brought to you by the American TESOL Institute. Yes, yes, here we're back once again. It's your host, Jason Levine, better known as Fluent CMC. I have the privilege of hosting this monthly quiz show where we invite English language teachers from around the world to compete in a friendly competition. But let's look at the rules. Let's see how it all works. This ELTQ, English language teacher quiz show. First teachers to arrive who want to play. We have some people here live. Thank you for joining live. We will put you into teams. Please keep your microphones muted unless you are answering questions on your team. Then of course you do need to have those microphones live. If you want to have your camera on, you can. I love that, I encourage it. You don't have to have it on, however, if you can't or you prefer not to. If you're on a team with another person, another teacher, you need to have a team answer for a question. So you'll say your answer and then you'll say final answer. All answers must be given in complete sentences. I will explain this when we see quiz questions. We're going to play two games. The first will focus on grammar, vocabulary, or pronunciation. I'm going to tell you which game we have uh, in this category today. And the second one will be a trivia topic. I have a special trivia topic today. Yes, there are prizes. And I will tell you who is giving the prizes. We have generous sponsors who will be offering prizes. So in the two games, if you are the winner, you will receive prizes. And then we will also raffle off a prize. We will have a raffle at the end where anyone could win. Anyone who's here as a participant could win a prize as well. This is my email address. Please email me and I will send you the links, the files, whatever it is that you have won as your prize. Is that clear to everyone? Let me know in the chat. Let's talk about how the game works. And let's see in the chat if you're following me. If it's a question where there is just one answer, we don't have choices, I'm looking forward at the conference. What would you say if you're going to use the word C? This is a grammar question, obviously. We're looking for a preposition. Do a lot of preposition games because <laughs> it's the repetition with them that really helps, not the studying. What do you think, guys? Look forward in, on, to, at, with, for, and then what form of the verb? Ina says to, and then what happens after that? I'm looking forward to see you. Is it, ah, thank you very much. So I look forward to seeing you. So if this is your team, you would say, I'm looking forward to seeing you at the conference. This is a trivia question. The category is British English. In the UK, you often use a rubber. <laughs> In American English, it's different. In a what? This one is multiple choice. Who would like to answer the question? Again, we are not playing now. We are demonstrating how the game works. In American English, it's a very different answer. Who would like to try it? It is something you use to erase either the chalkboard or your paper. We would call that an eraser. So when you have multiple choice, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the points change. You have a chance for 15 points here. Oh, you got it wrong. Now 10 points, five points. That's how multiple choice works. There's also power ups. You could win 10 points. You could lose 10 points. And also other things, I'm not going to say what they are. It's a lot of fun, the power-ups that are in the game. Let's talk about the prizes. What are the prizes? We have sponsors. We have, for game one, English Language Teaching Buzz, an amazing site. Shout out to ELT Buzz for sponsoring uh, this ELT quiz show program. So they're working with American Teaching Institute to sponsor, they have a really wonderful 
a catalog of materials that you can access for free. But if you're a member, and this is a membership, you get six months to as a paid member for free and so much wonderful materials here at ELT Buzz. Game two. Yes, it's that's me, Fluency MC, the song video activity book for teachers, including lyrics, songs, and activities. I'll send you the MP3s. I'll send you, this is, I, I sell this on my website. It will be free for you if you win the second game. And we have a raffle coming. And for the raffle, this is the platform. Shout out to Ronan at Bamboozle who created this amazing platform. If you uh, win the raffle, and that's anybody who's here as a participant or as a contestant, you will win a free year as a paid member of Bamboozle, Bamboozle Plus, and you can do so many amazing things. Let's go, boom, boom, choose a picture. Boom, boom, here. Unicorn, yeah. please. The unicorn. Why are you such a bad mood? Is in. it in, on, or at? But I need a complete sentence. Why are you in such a bad mood? Ooh, why are you in such a bad mood? It's great. It's boom, boom with 10. Word team two, up. team two, Ina, let's go. So, okay, I'm gonna choose this scooter. The scooter. And just a moment, because I can't see the scooter. Ah, okay. It down, right yeah. yeah, I see. It's just because it was blocked. Uh, scooter. Her third project is scheduled. Wow, she's really a role. Like she's doing well. Look at the booms for Boom Boom. <laughs> this should have been Boom Boom's question. Oh. Oh, should I uh, should I answer? Oh, okay. Uh, is uh, on the schedule. Uh, oh, but please, really... if you could if you could read it, read the full sentence. That's one of the rules oh, you okay. have to read. Mm -hmm. Her third project is uh, on schedule. Uh, While well, she's really on a roll. Her third project is on schedule. Wow, she's really on a roll. And we could also say on fire, like Ina's doing here, with twenty points for that question. Team three, Tunisia's coming in now. Let's go, Basma. Okay, the duck. The duck. Go to first place. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Tunisia. <laughs> Great. The power up, 25 points. Oh, what in the yes. lead. Uh -huh. Miriam, team four. Yeah, let's choose the rainbow. Rainbow. Where were you? I was school. The classroom at sitting. school. Oh, I want to fall. Where were you? I oh. was at school in the classroom setting in in my desk. Oh, time is up. Oh, sitting in a desk. Mm, I was at school in the classroom sitting. At school in my desk. At my desk. I'm so sorry. Very close. You are so close. <laughs> Team one, are you there? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> you bet I am. All right, I wanna... <laughs> let's go. Eagle, I want a zombie. Head. Hedgehog, cheese, what zombie. do you want? Zombie. zombie. That's like me now. Yeah, zombie. Right bottom corner. That's the, that's, that's, that's a uh, boom boom with jet lag. I'll put you. Yeah, true, true story. <laughs> I'll put you in contact with her. Here are in the contact points, with her. Yeah, these are the points, but you have to make a sentence. I'll put you in contact with her. Yeah. And next time. I'll put point. you in contact with her. Beautiful. But the next one who doesn't make a sentence, you get zero. I'm going to get strict about the sentences. Boom Boom said, I'll put you in contact with her. And that is absolutely correct. This is the points here. 10 points. Boom Boom tied with for second place. With 20, let's go in. Okay, let's do a violin. Violin. She's that age when kids start talking back. She's at that age when kids start talking back. Yeah, and saying really rude things. <laughs> She's at that age when kids start talking back. That is correct. We have a leader with 35, Ina, team two yeah. with 35. Let's go, Basma. The cupcake. <laughs> The cupcake. cupcake. Yeah, of course, the cupcake. Can you help me? I'm sorry, this time you're your own. You have to do it yourself. So can you help me? I'm sorry, this time you're on your own. Let's see. Yes! 
Yes, this time you're on your own. Well done, Team 3 now with 35 tied for first place, Team 4. The ball? Miriam wants the ball the or the bone? Yeah. I don't have a bone. Which ball? No, no, the, the soccer ball the or the baseball? Ball. Yeah, Forgive like me, the I'm American. The football. Yeah, the black and white one. Yeah, the black and white one. To yeah. be to be politically correct, it's not a football. To be precise, yeah. <laughs> it's not a football. It's, it's not a, 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 a soccer ball. It's a black and white ball. There we go. Then we don't have any problems. Go to first place. Oh, my goodness. Tunisia is rocking the yeah. power up. Wow. Yeah, great. 40 points. Team one, let's go. We've got the demon mask, golf, fire engine, fox, lizard. Uh-oh. Maybe we lost Boom Boom to the jet lag. Team no, no. <laughs> Are you there? I'm still here. Oh. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna I want some cheese. Give you me want some, some cheese. cheese. He wants the cheese. We give him the cheese. We're here to deliver. What do you want? I, it was the newspaper on Sunday. It was in the newspaper on Sunday. Is that correct? And it is. 10 points. Team one with 30. Team two. Okay. I want this uh, fire truck. truck. Fire truck. She uh, wants the fire, fire truck. Yeah. With 50 points. Oh, my goodness. She wanted the what? fire truck. The fire truck no. delivered suddenly. Team two is way out in front with 85 points. Team three. Okay, the lizard. The lizard. I'm sorry, but she's busy the moment. At the moment. Okay, I'm sorry, but she's busy ah. at the moment. <laughs> That's what you got. You. I was just about to say. No. Give me the full I'm sentence. Kidding. You did it. You I did get it. it. Ah, I'll give it to you. There you go. 45 points. Let's go, Maryam. Team four. The carrot. The carrot. The carrot. I told him our call that I'm a really bad situation right now. 20 points here. I told him in our call that I'm in a really bad situation right now. Let's check. Oh, but we say on a call. In a meeting, in a conversation, but on a call. Very close, though. Sorry about that. Team one, let's go. Team one wants a, a, um, a heart. Ah, uh, the love. heart. With, yes. The, Four the... digit boom boom. <laughs> there you go, man. <laughs> Is it lucky heart? Swap points, team one. Ooh, you get to trade points. Mm. I think I think the heart was very lucky, but you might make an enemy now. This is the problem. You are not going to make a friend. You are going to make an enemy, and you have no choice, I'm sorry to say. That's okay. <laughs> like, what? I still love my enemy. Yeah, from the bottom of my heart, guys, I want to be a uh, swap with Team Two. <laughs> it's the logical choice. Yeah, I'm not supporting your, uh, you anymore. <laughs> team Two. Oh, where did my points? Don't uh, forget. Okay, Don't I want forget. this exploded brain. You want uh, the exploded? Yeah, yeah, because you feel like you're how you feel. Hello. Because because team one just exploded your brain. So let's see what happens here. Traffic was a complete standstill, meaning it wasn't moving at all. Traffic was uh, on a complete standstill. Let's see. Oh, but it's at a complete yeah, standstill. Really oh, no. So sorry. Team three, let's go. Okay, the demon mask. The demon mask. I was a plane Christmas day. I was on a plane on Christmas Day. Was on a plane on Christmas Day! That's well done. it. <laughs> team three nailed it. And now team three is second place after team one, team four. Golf, tulip, baseball, eagle, hedgehog, fox, circus tent, camping, or tulips. We have one tulip and we have a bouquet <laughs> of tulips. What would you like, Team Four? Uh oh, Team Four has left us temporarily. What shall we do? Give her points to Team Two. <laughs> Why not me? We are from the same country. <laughs> what, what? What a great strategy! I'm gonna have to play for Team Four. Let's see. 
I'm going to choose on behalf of Tunisia, the hedgehog. Take 10 points. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Boom, boom. You know, you've got too many points, man. We're bringing 10 over to Maryam. Hopefully she'll be back. You still have 75. Let's go. I want a fox. Hey, fox. Fox, fox. Give him the fox. Hey, you know, there's a fox story with this guy and me. I'll tell you about it sometime. <laughs> there's a fox yes, connection. There's a fox connection. We're not good terms it. right now. Mm. We're not on good terms right now. Is it on good terms? Indeed it is. 15 points. Team one. Way in front with 90. Team two. Okay, there's circus tent. Circus tent. Oh, oh, will she be a meeting? That case, oh, oh, I'll go will alone. she be on a meeting? Uh, in that case, I'll go alone. Was that on a meeting? Oh, in a meeting or maybe at a meeting, but never oh, on a meeting. Say? Team three, golf, tulip, okay, the tulip. eagle. Okay. Sorry? The tulip. Ah, the, the tulip or the tulips? Le, uh, one flower. <laughs> one tulip. flower is enough. Times, I'm not sure what to say. At times, I'm not sure what to say. Is it at times? At it times. Is. Yes. Team three, catching up to the lead. Watch out, team one. Yeah. Team four, are you back? Oh my goodness, what happened to team four? A bad connection. Maybe a bad days. connection. Okay, you know what's going to yes. happen here? Basma, you are going to represent for Tunisia. You're playing okay. two teams. Let's go. Okay, the two lips now. The two lips. <laughs> you had the two lips. Let's go with the two lips. Can yes. you help me out? What's up? I'm really a bind, like having a really big problem. Okay, can you help me out? What's up? I'm really on a bind. I'm really? On, on. Oh, but it's in a bind. It's similar to like yeah. in a jam, in trouble, in a mess. <clears throat> so sorry, but you know what? I think you knew that. You just, <laughs> you, you just want to have more. Yes, I'm cheating four. in a you way. Yes, <laughs> you, 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 I, I, see what you're, I see what you're doing here. I see what you're doing here. Team one, you're trying to sabotage team four. Team one, baseball, eagle, camping, or golf. This is your last choice in this game. Let's go camping. Let's camping. go camping. I'm going to put it my credit card. I think you should pay I'm cash. I'm going to put it on my credit card. I think you should pay in cash. Is it on my credit card? Yes. Is it in cash? It is. Boom, boom. With the perfect answers. Uh, Pink and he's doing it. <laughs> Well, we don't know. There are some power ups, yes. and typically, power -ups. typically there are power ups at the end. So anything could happen. Team two, uh, the golf. The golf. Their company is most likely debt, meaning they in, owe money. Uh, the, their company is most likely in debt. Is it in debt? It is. Team two now with forty-five. Team three, baseball or the eagle? The baseball. It's the baseball. Take five points from whom? <laughs> it's only five. Team four. Eight, but take them. From team four. <laughs> oh, no. Well, team, team four that's is like, here. That's <laughs> Let's everybody take points from team four. Just take their point because they're not here anyway. Team four, Basma, you are going to represent team four here yes. with the Eagle. Swap yes. points. With team one, of course. <laughs> With team one. And suddenly the winner is <laughs> team three. Team three. I, did, was that your strategy? It's actually I, honestly, team four. I, I, think, <laughs> I think that was the strategy. So is you? did you win or did Maryam win? Maryam. <laughs> okay. So, okay. That's <laughs> If you like that game, you're going to love the next game. English language trivia. Trivia about the English language. This is uh, my grandmother. I made this little meme. What do you think? Yes. Uh, is, is, is everybody in? <laughs> Let's get started. Team one, choose an emoji. We've got some new ones here. We've got a fairy. 
We've got a detector, a Christmas tree. Kiwi. A skull for me. <laughs> what would you skull, like? Skull, please. The skull, the skull. What is the shortest grammatically correct sentence in English? Mm. Interesting. I am. <laughs> 25 points. Somebody. <laughs> Is it yes. I am? No. Is it I am? Is that your final answer, Team One? Yes. <laughs> Even in if fact, it's incorrect. It's go. Go, go. is the shortest <laughs> answer. In, uh, uh, shortest sentence. I'm so sorry, Team One. <laughs> team Two. Uh, the spy. The spy. Oh, I like that. The spy. How many diphthongs? Are there in English? Are there five, seven, eight, or six? Two vowels uh, joined together to create a new sound. Ah, but, six. Ah, but six. I need I need a complete sentence. Uh, oh, so you're going there to are say, uh, six uh, diphthongs uh, there in English. There are, there are six diphthongs there in English. There are six diphthongs in English. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's not six. You have another chance for 10 points, Team 2. Oh, uh, eight. There are eight diphthongs. That is English. correct. And that was your first. That's what one. I wanted to say I at the know. beginning. You, you got to go with your first mind. instinct. You got to go with the instinct, but you still get 10 points. Team three, let's go. Heart. Heart. I'm sorry? The heart. heart. The heart. The heart. A sound formed by combining two vowels in a single syllable. <laughs> Is called a well. That sounds familiar. Okay, sound found uh, by combining two vowels mm -hmm. in a single syllable is called a deaf tongue. It's called a deaf tongue. That's right. Yeah. Team three now leading with twenty. Team four. Let's go, Algeria. Uh, I I choose the dollar. The dollar. Is it only one dollar? It looks like a more, like a stack of them. Other yeah. team loses fifteen. Oh my goodness, team four. Which team? Now you are not going to get these points, so you are just going to make an enemy. You understand? You are going to make an enemy now. I'm sorry, but who is going to lose 15? Points. Yes. Team one, two, or three is going to lose 15 points. One. Team one! Yes. With minus 15! Oh my goodness! I don't think Team One is going to forget that. Team One, let's go. Don't mess with the Russians. <laughs> I'm just trying to revenge uh, for me. Maybe Team One, let's go. Team One. Team One. Yeah. What do you want, man? I'll I'll do an angel. The angel. The, I need an angel. Angel yeah. or a fairy? Let's be specific. Because there's actually an angel in this game, and it has a halo. So I think oh, this is... I can see your halo. I, <laughs> I think, <laughs> technically speaking, I believe this is a fairy. Would you like the fairy? Oh. Would you, or would you of know? Course I like, I, yeah, fairy, fairy. The fairy's okay. The I fairy. thought maybe if it's not an angel... You prefer something else. Okay, you're going to take the fairy. No, no, no. I'll Which go. of the following is the longest word that appears in a play by William Shakespeare? Is it sesquipedalian, disproportionableist, incomprehensibleist, or honorificabilitinitibus? Uh, honorific I need a sentence. I need a sentence, and it's your last warning. The next time you answer without a sentence, my friend, you get zero. Gotcha. So the longest, let's go. Give me the, the longest, the longest word that appears in a play by William Shakespeare is <laughs> That is correct for 15 points. And team one is now at zero. Team two. Uh, the avocado. Avocado, true or false, from the dialects and vocabulary of Germanic peoples, the Angles, the Saxons, and the Jutes, who settled in Britain in the fifth century. Oh, there's a mistake here. Uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna, whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you answer, 
There is a mistake. I made this game today on Bamboozle. I went very quickly. Do you see the mistake? True or false? English, but look how you can mm -hmm. edit during the game. How cool is that if you're with your students? English comes from <laughs> the dialects and vocabulary of Germanic peoples, the Angles, Saxons, and the Jutes who settled in Britain in the fifth century. Is that true or false, team two? Uh, I think it's false, and uh, English comes from the dialects and vocabulary of, vocabulary of uh, Germanic peoples, Angles, and Saxons. I'm not sure who Jutes are, uh, but I don't think that uh, they belong to this group. I think that's a wonderful analysis, but I think perhaps you are thinking too much. It was those people, and the Jutes also were included in there. I'm so sorry, Team 2. Team 3. Uh, the butterfly. Butterfly. Swap points, team three. Oh, that's not good for you. Sometimes <laughs> swap points is bad, and here is a good example. So you are going to get a friend, not an enemy, an alliance. Uh, okay, good friend. So team two. Team two. <laughs> Let's go team four. Uh, I choose the cheese. The cheese. We're 25 points, the lucky cheese. And suddenly team four is in the lead. 25 <laughs> Great. points, team four. <laughs> I'm so lucky. Lucky cheese, lucky <laughs> cheese. Team one. <laughs> Birthday cake, mouse, coffee, daisy. Hi. Crab. Uh, we have real, we have real team with uh, DJ Boom Boom. And now it's me, Mary, and I choose uh, <laughs> ice cream. So, so, so it's, <laughs> it's tag team, tag team. Yeah. Okay, Mary. Yeah. Okay, wow, that sounds like Boom Boom really is, has some crazy jet lag. His voice is like <laughs> crazy stuff is happening. Mary sitting in or tag teaming. Wonderful. And you chose what? I'm sorry, the birthday cake? Uh, no, oh, ice cream. The ice cream, excuse me. There are so many desserts here. I'm losing track. We have a birthday yeah, cake. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, have ice cream. Ice we have a piece of cake and we have a cupcake. Team one would like the ice cream. Which country contains the largest English-speaking population in the world? Is it China, the United States, India, or Australia? For 15 points, team one. Uh, and I, I need a, that's a complete sentence. So I need a sentence that incorporates the question. So the country which contains. I mean, you just joined, so that's uh, the rule. Okay. Uh, okay, I think that the United States contains uh, contains the largest English speaking population in the world. Is it the United States? I'm sorry, that is not correct. But you have another chance for ten points, yeah. Team One. Another chance. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> let it be Australia. Is it Australia? No. 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 no? Is it India. It is India. You get five points. You are back in the positive. Team two. Did you notice how, <laughs> how Boom Boom left when he had minus 15? No, he, he got <laughs> zero. No way. Team, <laughs> he's used to winning. Team two. Uh, the skateboard. skateboard. Oh, long board. True or false? The longest word in English is pneumonotromicroscopic. Oh my God. I think it's true because you would not choose that long word if it was false. Okay. So I have to stop but, reading it now. But team and two, my I friend, guess what? Guess what? Words, so let me guess what? Okay. You, you, you the longest still, word. There we go. You still need to give me a complete sentence. Either it, yeah. is, it is okay. true it's that true. or it is false it's that. True. That the longest word in English is a uh, new more no tra microscopic silico volcan volcanionosis. Ah, oh she God. did it. <laughs> now, is it the longest <laughs> word? It is. Four, <laughs> ten points, team three. Let's go. Okay, the mouse. The mouse. Roughly, what proportion of the world's population is competent in English? It doesn't mean perfectly fluent, but competent. Is it one in 10, one in 100, okay, one so. in 1,000, or one in four? 
the proportion of the worst population in co uh, which is competent in English is uh, one in thousand. Let's see. Oh no, it's not one in a thousand. Another chance. It's one in a hundred. No, it's not one in a hundred. And by the way, one in four. <laughs> You can check this on, on the internet, uh, but this, according to David Crystal, who we all admire okay. so well. So if David Crystal says it's true, then it must be true. Is it one in 10? Or okay, one? so it's one in four. So ah, one. you got it. She got yes. five points. Team three now in At third least, place. Yes. <laughs> team five, let's, oh, excuse me, team four. I choose the coffee. Let's see what do we have. Coffee. Which of the following is probably the most widely used English word throughout the world? Is it movie, sex, okay, or internet? I think okay. So give me a sentence incorporating the question, my friend. I think that uh, the the probably the most widely used English word throughout the world is okay. Boom! 15 points, correct! Great. Team four is in the lead with 40. Team one. Uh, yes, I'm here. And uh, I choose party. Party emoji. Party emoji. Let's party. Yeah. Supportive terms such as oh and really are examples of back channeling, clarifying. Wow. Numbers, or hedging? Ooh, a linguistics question for you. I have no idea, but mm. maybe filter fillers. Let's see. It's not fillers. By the way, it's fillers are fillers. things like you know, like. Uh, well. Okay. But this is more uh, supporting supporting someone in a conversation. Oh, back really? channeling. That's correct. Ten points for team one. Team two. Thank you. Okay, I'll choose uh, fur tree. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Uh, fur tree is the it? Fur tree. Uh, fur? Yes. Yes. And the fur decorated fur tree, the Christmas tree. By the way, vocabulary Sorry. review here, in case people are not sure. Tiger soup bowl, maybe, or bowl, spoon and bowl. I don't know. Birthday cake, Christmas tree. Is this embarrassed? Ashamed? I don't know. Some emotion. Ah, uh, daisy or flower, cupcake, cake, crab, and kiwi, and we have another bouquet of tulips. The fir tree or Christmas tree. Take ten points, team two. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, do I have to take fr from? Okay. Uh, sorry, team four. I will take from you. She's sorry, but hey, that's the way it goes. Team three. Okay, let me choose the crab. The crab. Name one process of word formation. How words are formed. Okay, Ooh. one of the processes of word formation is noun and noun. Meaning compounding? I the think you meant compounding. Yes, yes. Compounding. I will accept that absolutely. We also have affixation, blending, clipping, acronym yes. formation, and others. Well done, team three. Compound noun. Thank you. Team four. The birthday cake. Ah, the birth, not the piece of cake or the cupcake, the birthday cake. Approximately how old is the English language? Is it approximately 900 years old, 1800 years old, 1400 years old, or 1100 years old? Time's up, team four. Let's go. Time's up. You're scaring me. Yeah. Are you? Is it a Google Google search? No Google searches. Let's go, Team Four. You get zero. He's cheating. Team Four. I don't know the answer. <laughs> team Four, where are you? Team Four. Uh oh. I don't even know how to. How do I get out of here? There. Okay. Ah, Team Four. Oh, but then you get to choose again. Win 25 points. How did that happen? No. I don't even know what's going on. I'm getting confused oh. here. 
Team Four, are you really gone? No, I'm with you. I'm I'm still here. I'm still here. Well, what happened, man? Approximately. I have a problem with language? my kids. I'm running after my, my kids. Ah, I have a problem. <laughs> kids are always kids are always a good excuse. My apologies. <laughs> Approximately how old, we, we thought you were we thought you were on the internet trying to cheat. No, we didn't really think that. Approximately how old is the English language team four? I think uh, 1400. But yes. give me a sentence. Approximately how approximately, old? Approximately the English language old is the 1400 years old. Wow! Team four. Great. He's got his kids. He's dealing with it. He comes back and right away with the correct answer. That's impressive. Team one. Uh, yes. Yes. In what would you like? A flower. Let it be. The, fl uh, the flower or the flowers? Sorry. A flower. Just the flower, One. the daisy. Now, yeah. well, you know and like are examples of... <laughs> this could help you here. Okay. Well, okay. It's you know... Um, I mentioned... I mentioned intense fillers. I, I said fillers, and there's another word, too. <laughs> we don't have fillers here, but maybe you can make a good guess. Uh, these car smackers. That's correct. Very good. Team one with 30. Team two. Uh, soup bowl. The soup bowl. Is it the lucky soup bowl? Which of the following terms refers to the substitution of a more offensive word or phrase? for one considered less offensive. It's difficult, but it's 25 points, Team 2. If you get it correct, you are in the lead with 65. Uh, I think uh, euphemism uh, refers to the uh, substitution of an offensive word. Uh, uh, okay, euphemism is, uh, I don't know how to build the sentence. <laughs> Which one? Dysphemism, euphemism, dramatism, or orthophemism? I couldn't hear. Which one, team two? Uh, euphemism. 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 Oh, it's not euphemism. In fact, euphemism is the opposite. It's to make something less strong. Oh. So this is so more strong, stronger, more offensive. So it means that uh, then I have to choose uh, this feminism. This feminism. And you still get 20 points because you got the second choice correct. 60. Team two is leading. Team three. Tiger. The tiger. Oh, team three with the lucky tiger. And again, I'm stopping with my friend, good friend, team two. <laughs> Team two now with 35 and 60 for team three. Team four. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all in good fun, friendly competition. Yes. Team four, tulips, kiwi. I, I choose the bouquet. The bouquet of tulips. Swap points, team four. It's getting crazy. Great. <laughs> so what do I do now? You Well, you choose which, which points do you want. Would you prefer to have 60? Would you prefer to have 35 or would you prefer to have 30? I think I know the answer, but... 60. You would, I think you'd rather have 60, no? Yes, of yeah, course. Yeah, especially because we're, <laughs> we're, we're almost at the end of the game here. Team one. Yeah, karma comes. <laughs> Let's go team one. Kiwi, cake, piece of cake, cupcake, or embarrassed. Team one, are you there? Boom, boom, Mary, Russia. <laughs> you bet we are. <laughs> boom, boom, coming in on the tag team move at the very end. <laughs> Is it going to be the save the day? What's it, what's it going to be, my friend? <laughs> I like this confused person. <laughs> yeah, so confused, embarrassing. Way, yeah. I don't know, blushing. Double your points. Team one with 16. Oh, we and just now, doubled our points. <laughs> and now, 
Team one and team four are tied for the lead. Team two, this is your last choice here. This is it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's choose Kiwi. She sounds confident. In approximately how many different countries does the English language have official or special status? Is it 35, say, uh, 50, 10, or 75 for 50? I would say uh, in approximately 10 countries, English has official status. Sorry, so I, I can't hear because like team one uh, was being yeah. a little bit team loud. One, can you please stay quiet? <laughs> okay, team two. Let's go. What was that? Okay, so I would say uh, in approximately 10 countries, English language have official uh, has official or special special status. I love how you you changed it from have to has. That was very nice. But that is not correct. I'm so sorry. But you have another chance for ten points. Uh, Thirty five countries. No. Last oh. chance. Team two. What do you think? Fifty or seventy? I think uh, fifty countries. Fifty. Oh no, it's 75! No way. Yes! Oh, team three. Cake? Oh, we have two cakes. Cake. Is it the cupcake or the piece of cake? The piece of cake. Are you sure? Yeah. Not the cupcake. No. The piece of cake. The piece of cake. What is the study of meaning in context? Is it semantics, onomastics, phonetics? or pragmatics? Okay, the study of meaning and context is semantics. Ooh, wait a moment. I think the study, semantics is the study of meaning. Meaning. But not necessarily in context. You have another chance, team three. Okay, the study of meaning and context is onomastics, no. No, onomastics, I believe, is the study of names in, in, uh, in a language, the naming of things. So finally, it's pragmatic. So the study of meaning and context you is pragmatic. You got it. Five <laughs> points. Yes. Team four. This is it. Wow. Look at this, guys. Team one and team four are tied with 60 points. Team four, would you like the cupcake? Or the cupcake. Yes, you don't have any choice, my friend. <laughs> What's going to happen? Yes, the Let's see. What is polysemy? 25 Polysim. points. If you can explain it well, I will give you the points. There, is there any choices? No choices. Nope. Polysemy, it is uh, multiple, multiple of something. Maybe <laughs> Very uh, good. Uh, but multi multiple <laughs> of what? If, if you get close... If you are close, I will give you the points. So policy me maybe when the man um, is uh, more than one woman maybe. <laughs> that's, that's that's polygamy. When a word form has multiple meanings that may potentially be related to one another. I don't know why there's a question mark there. For example, it's not the same as synonyms or homonyms. For example, polysemy, a good example would be like the word bank, meaning like a, a, a financial institution and a river bank because they are connected. They are not the same, but they are not homophones because they are connected enough. Polysemy. Yes, that is polysemy. I'm so sorry, but that means that it's a tie. Team one and team four win the game. Love to all of you. Respect, salute, have a wonderful evening. Wherever you are, everybody out there in English language teacher land, take care. Thanks for being here. American Diesel Institute, thank you so much. Everybody, take care now. Bye-bye.